Again, right, now then, good people. Rollo Royce here, bringing you another little snippet of the entertainment at the studio. Um, well, it's not a studio, it's my fucking bedroom, but <laughs> it's going to be a studio pretty soon. I'm going to get some neon lights. Probably not, but like, maybe will. Uh, so, yeah, I just went over to Spain, Barcelona, Catalonia, whatever, if you want to get technical. I want to call it a holiday, but it was more of a work trip. I went over there to do some of my coveted jewish characters did about five while i was out there and a couple of letter pieces and a whole host of fucking graffiti tags all in the right correct place of course but while out there i ran into a bit of troll and tribulation so i got robbed not once but twice so i did make a, a live stream video about it i didn't realize that i'd actually filmed one in a very very drunken state while out in Spain. So I get so I realised I've uploaded a video about it already, which I was a bit disappointed about, because it's like, yeah, I've got this hot topic, I'm going to shed some light on it, get back, and I'm like, shit, you've already uploaded a video on it. So I, I give it a quick watch, flipped through to a few different places, and I was very, very drunk. I watched one segment where I was like, who's the K? It's my favourite stream. It's an all day kind of smoke. And I was just like, oh God, like no. <laughs> Obviously, I'm well within my rights to get a little little merry when I'm on holiday, you know, it is what it is. But I just had to take it down. I want to tell this story clear and concise, coherently, clear and coherently, concisely, I believe is the word. Check out that painting that's by my auntie. Just got it up there for a little feature, but we're going to get some shit hung out. Obviously, get it all looking nice, but this is the background for now. Obviously, got the window view. Auntie's painting, due down there, Marsh. So, the first robbery. How has this occurred? Uh, so, it's the second day. I've had a very, very busy couple of days. I've walked and I've walked and I've walked. So, I didn't check into my hotel first night. I get there pretty late. So, I get there about 12 o'clock. So I just went round all night doing my business, marker pens, a few tags here and that. And um, yeah, so so I check into my hostel the next day. I don't like spending time at these hostels at all. Normally I'm in and out, you know, I just sleep as little as possible, get out, I ain't talking to no one. It's just so I can travel on the cheap. So that's exactly what I've done. I've checked in probably around lunchtime, had a quick power nap. I was back out on the street for three o'clock. Went straight to the Molotov graffiti shop, stocked up on about 80 euros worth of spray paint. So I goes around for a few more hours. I've worked my way about six or seven miles away from where I was stopping. I'm right near the beach. It's six o'clock. Oh, I'd also gone to the reefer shop as well earlier that morning before checking in. So I had a nice little uh, reefer supply, probably about three grams and some hash. So I've had a few beers as well, a few of them few of them i've made my way down to the beach so i'm sat on the waves or sat on the beach front next to the waves i'm listening to them rolling and it's ever so soothing i'm feeling very very relaxed i can just feel my eyes drifting and i'm thinking well i am quite far away from the uh, hostel why not have a little cheeky hour sleep right here on the beach front so i do just that have a little hour nap but this one hour nap turned into a four hour nap. So it took me from around 6 p.m. to about 10 p.m. I'm rudely awakened. There's two young lads stood right next to me. So I hop up into action. I know what time it is yet. So I, I thought I caught these motherfuckers in the act. They had nothing in their hands. They had none of my stuff. I still had my big bag of spray paint. Still had my stuff because I'd boxed my passport and my phone at this point. Boxed that. So I up, up into action, like, motherfuckers, motherfuckers, yeah, yeah, I know what you're trying to do, you're trying to rob me. They're only young lads, probably 16, 17, probably no heavier than eight and a half stone. So I'm like, yeah, you little bitches, yeah, I fucking caught you. I sent one packing on the way, I was like, get the fuck away from me, get the fuck away. So bearing in mind, I've just come out of a four hour alcohol and weed induced nap on the beach. I'm thinking, yeah, good job, Bola. Show me his fucking Barcelona hobos, didn't you? Nice. Watch him off the beach. Look down at my stuff. 
I realised that my bag has been unzipped ever so slightly, so they must have zipped it back up. I've been rifled. They have had me. They've done me dirty. So they took, unbelief, five patches that I got from Duty Free. Um, they took my GoPro camera. They took a pair of jeans that was in my bag and a four pack of socks. So by the time I've realised what's gone down, they're already off into the sunset. I'm thinking, do I chase them down? I'm, I know the faces. I've sat there and had a little conversation with them. I thought, fuck it, take the loss. I've fed the streets. So I've gone into it naive as fuck. With my last European trip, I got into a bit of trouble with some hobos. But I dealt with them promptly. And I kind of had this... Um, notion in my head that I can handle any of these hobos that I'm fucking Clint Eastwood I can sleep with one eye open if anyone comes near me I'll be on it I weren't worried I thought I was in control little did I know I was very wrong I was very wrong so the young lads they've took away my shit but it's all good I've still got my phone I've still got my passport still got my spray paint still got my weed actually um Oh no, this was the, the next day, once it confusing the two stories. So, robbery number two, uh, a couple of days later, back at it again on the streets, at uh, late, late spray painting, smoking hashish. Sat down in the town, just, just, my eyes were just drifting off, just, uh, I've nodded. I'm sat on like a little bench, yeah, got my bag wrapped around me again. I wake up and there's two lovely African-American gentlemen running off down the road as I'm coming to. I'm like, oh, fuck. No, 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 not again. Not again. Check my shit. I didn't hide my passport or my phone this time. They've took everything. They've took the lot, except again for my bag. Because I woke up, I caught them halfway in the act. They've scarpered. So like, I'm saying it like this as I'm, I'm there falling asleep on the streets, yeah. What a fucking muppet. You don't go to these big, big cities and act like this. I've gone on a holiday on my own. Whatever. More for me. Do me once, shame on you. Do me twice. Fucking big fat shame on me. <sighs> what can I say, man? I'd love to be able to tell you that it was a proper mugging, the whipped out a knife and I had no control over it. But no, it just falls down to plain stupidity. I was high, I was drunk on the streets of a big, big, bad city. And they did me dirty and they had me, man, for my passport. Whole ordeal ensued after this to get back to the UK. I had to stop over there an extra day. I had to go to the embassy, get one of these fancy little blue passports, which I'd never seen before. And um, rebook a fly, all this and that. All in all, they did me about 600 quid. I've got insurance for my camera, I've got insurance for my flights, so I'm probably going to get about 400 quid back, whatever. It is what it is. It's a big loss, but it's also a big lesson. I come from Lincoln City, where I feel like I'm pretty city-wise, but we're not in a city, really. We've only got a cathedral. It's a big town. I'm a little small town, country bunking. If I want to go sleep down Royal Meadowfields, no one's going to touch your shit. If I want to go and fucking have a kit round in Lincoln, no one's going to touch your shit. Unless you're very, very unlucky. Although, the other day I was walking through town and I did see a hobo asleep and he had a BMX next to him. And I was thinking, if you get got, the best thing to do is pass the book home, go and get someone. But I ain't got the heart for that. I'm not going to steal a hobo's BMX. But, um... Yeah, keep it short and sweet. That is the two times I was robbed on my latest trip to Barcelona. Obviously, if you know about the previous situation in Belgium, some hobos tried to rob me while I was wide awake. It didn't go very good for them. I came out feeling like the man, feeling like the chump. This one, I'm going to take my losses. I'm going to admit I was a fucking idiot. Absolute amateur. Amateur. Amateur hour, mate. Terrible business. But... I've left with my dignity. They could have took so much more from me if you get my drift. They only took my possessions. They didn't take my manhood. They didn't stab me. They had knives both times because one of them successfully cut through my bag strap and I, 
this is the worst part of it. So, you know how one strapping is no longer cool? For the remainder of my holiday, I had to walk around with a one strap because the cup fucking wanted me back bag straps. And on the second robbery attempt, the half cut through that one, so it was just waiting to snap any second. But I did actually use some like DIY skills, junglist survival shit. I got the, the bit that they cut off my bag and I like tied it around and I fixed it so I had two straps again. But I didn't do that for like a day, so I was one strapping. My bag was heavy, I still had a lot of pain. Um but yeah, I've got two more videos coming out. I'm gonna try and film them right now, upload them. But I've got two more Barcelona videos about to drop. But yeah, I'm your host, Rollo Royce, the uh, the guy that fed the streets of Barcelona. But this is the way I look at it. These kids were malnourished, they were hungry. If they had to eat off me that day, it is what it is. Let me be their food, goddamn. I don't feel like a mug, but I guess I am a massive one. But I don't want your pity either, because your pity stinks. If you're there, oh, I'm sorry that happened to you, Rollo fuck out of here, I don't want to hear none of that shit, I want people feeling sorry for me, I just want to shed a little bit of light on how Barcelona is, I thought it wasn't a very big city, I thought maybe a nice little city with the beach, just assumed it was going to be a lot smaller, but it's fucking London in Spain, so if you go there, please heed my warning, don't go anywhere, don't sleep on the beach or the city centre benches, and that's all I really got to say. Oh, uh, I met a dude out there. There was five of them also on the beach. Guy fell asleep. I think his family or his sons had wandered off, maybe going into the water or something. The professional thieves have swooped in and took his Hublot watch or whatever, £35,000 golden watch. Gone. Just like that. So they hit a pretty sweet lick off me. They hit an even sweeter lick off that dude. God damn it. But yeah, the police, they really do nothing about it. I uh, went and filed a complaint so I could get my insurance thingy, but I was, you know, thingy with the details. I spared the details. Even if the lads were to get caught up off my statement, whatever, which I do feel like a little ratting bastard for, but also I need that, you know, insurance money. I didn't need to tell you about that, but it is what it is. I've got no shame. I'm not here like a major criminal, eh? Just... Spray a few Jews here and there, smoke a few spliffs. I'm an arse guy, baby. I've got no uh, bad intent. But the police out there really are not pulling the weight. I'm still going to go back to Barcelona. Still a very, very beautiful place. But the police aren't doing enough. Uh, what they tend to do is just pay out the tourists very easily. So if you get robbed, I got told this on the way out there. A bloke says to me, if anyone's tra trying to take your shit, mate, let it go. They've got knives. Not worth it. Just you will get your money back, potentially. And like either way, it's a tale to tell you. You can all point a finger roller today and say, what, well, I'm up it. But, you know, we all have these times. Hopefully, going forward, there's going to be a few less because I've been, you know, on a hot streak of losses lately. But 2024, nearly there. I ain't taking no losses in 2024. We're on the up and up, baby. But, yeah, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Film the next one. Maybe film the next one, keep them short and sweet, and then uh, Bosh go out, get some food, and have a little smoke to finish the night off. But yeah, much love, people. Take care. Oh, yeah, and that was the only um, saving grace. They completely cleaned me out, the second guys did, but then neglected to take the gram and a half of weed in my pocket and also my fucking back here. So that seed me through. I, I was left with no cash, nothing. I was in my time of need. A lot of people came through to help me. People was offering me money. I had to turn it down. I had 10 euros off one dude. I bought a fresh pair of socks because they nicked me four pack of socks. I bought a couple of beers and a little snack for that night. That got me through to the next day. I was able to get a passport, get some money paid onto that and get back home. But yeah, Barcelona. Still a thumbs up. I'm going back. Not as good as Belgium, though. Belgium was a lot better. Belgium stunk a lot more of piss, but there seemed to be a lot more shitbags in uh, Barcelona. It's warmer, isn't it? The state of decay on the streets is quite high. So in England, I'll put it like this. If you're homeless and you're hanging around on the streets, you're going to be in bed by one o'clock because it's freezing cold. You want to anchor down 
out there, it's just a non-stop party and the minds have gone to decay. And they're just hanging around, drinking, shouting, partying, looking for tourists to fucking yak up. But, hey, it is what it is.